In this video, I will show you how to connect VoiceFlow to WhatsApp. First of all, open any browser and search Meta Business Suite. In Meta Business Suite, you will see this interface. To get started, create a Meta Business account with your Facebook account. Once you have created your Meta Business account, open Meta for developers in a new tab. Click on the first link. Its website will appear. Click on My Apps from top right corner. On the next page, click on the Create App option. You will see your Meta Business account here. Click on the circle beside it to select it. Click on Next. Now scroll down and select the option Other. Click on Next. Now you have to select the app type. Click on Business, then click on Next. Here, enter your app name, email address, and then select your account. Click on Create App, enter your password, and click on Submit. Then go back to the home page of Meta for developers. Click on the My Apps option. Click on your business from here. Your business settings will open. Click on System Users from the left side. Then click on Add. Enter the username and select Admin from User Role category. Then click on Create System User. Click on Generate New Token. Select your app from here. Scroll down and click on Generate Token. Then click on OK. After that, click on Assign Assets option. Click on the checkbox beside your account name to select the asset. To assign permissions, click on this toggle button to enable it. Click on Save Changes, then click on Done. You will be redirected to Meta for Developers dashboard. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Settings option in the WhatsApp section. On the next page, scroll down and click on Webhooks. Now in a new tab, Sign in to your FlowBridge account. Here on the FlowBridge dashboard, scroll down at the left side and click on Client Companies option under Integration Management. Click on the New Client Company option from the top. Enter the name and click on Create. At the left, again scroll down and click on VoiceFlow Projects. Click on New VoiceFlow Project from the top. First, select the client company, then enter the VoiceFlow Project name project ID and API token, and click on Create. Again, scroll down and click on Client Integrations. Click on New Client Integration from the top. Here, select the company information, then click on Next. Here, select the name and the slug will be automatically selected. Then click on Next. For the channel, select WhatsApp and click on Create. Then scroll down and enable this toggle button. Now to get the WhatsApp access token, Simple, go to Meta Business Settings. And from System Users, click on Generate New Token. Select the app and click on Never. Then click on Generate Token. Click on this link. A new page will open. Copy this token and paste it in WhatsApp Access Token Bar. Then click on Create. From here, click on Integration Info. Copy this WhatsApp webhook URL. Now from the dashboard, click on WhatsApp Option and select Quick Start. At the right side, click on Webhooks option. On the next screen, click on Edit. Now paste that copied URL here. Now go back and copy the WhatsApp verification token and paste it as the same way done before. Then click on Verify and Save. After that, from the right side, click on Manage, scroll down, and click on the checkbox in front of Messages option. Then click on Done. At the left, Scroll down and select the option API Setup. Here you will find the test number through which you can contact